All right, guys, let's talk current events. Ferguson, Tamir Rice, Eric Garner, most recently Baltimore. Over the past year, we've seen a number of riots in this country, and we've also seen the emergence of a sign, a slogan, a hashtag, Black Lives Matter. Anyone who's looking at this holistically knows that it's not just black people versus the cops. Agents of the state have become drunk with power, and anyone can become their targets. But the news lately has been emphasizing the fact that unarmed black men are being shot by cops. I'm not here to discuss the specifics of any of those scenarios. I'm here to discuss the aftermath. Families and communities holding up signs that say, Black Lives Matter. Libertarians, of course, know that state violence isn't just against blacks. Anyone can become a target of the state. However, libertarians have this slogan they like to respond to Black Lives Matter, which is, no, all lives matter. And this is why we fail at messaging. Because yes, all lives matter. I know that, you know that, the families of Freddie Gray and Eric Garner, they know that too. Everybody knows that all lives matter. But I'm gonna take a moment to talk about black people. And trust me when I say I don't wanna do this, not because I don't care, but because I don't presume to speak for a race that I'm not part of. And last I checked, I'm pretty white. I don't even have that many black friends. So what the hell can a white girl originally from New Hampshire, now living in Los Angeles, tell anyone about the black experience? Now, I can only speculate, and I can only do so under the limitations of my own perspective. But my perspective observes that things have been kind of rough. Through generations of shitty treatment, shitty law, and shitty experiences, legalized racism, institutional racism, and social racism, black people tend to feel like they're not included in the terms, all lives matter. In fact, the Declaration of Independence says all men were created equal, but there might as well have been a giant asterisk next to it written by Jefferson that says, except black people because we still own them. Black people in this country have constantly found themselves to be the exception to the concept of equal rights. So when you encounter a mother in distress holding a sign that says black lives matter, this is not the time to respond with, no, all lives matter, because Frankly, this shouldn't be a fight. You are not on opposite sides. You are not against black lives. Do not let that narrative define you. Don't say the word no. You say, yes, black lives matter. They absolutely matter because all lives matter. Look, I get it. You want to make your point about individual rights and about how one race shouldn't be held above another, but this is not the time to exclude people. This is the time to include them. That's the concept of all lives matter, right? Black lives matter, white lives matter, everybody's lives matter, all lives matter. This is a time of exceptional police brutality, and we have the opportunity to document it, share it, and expose ourselves to the experiences of others. As more and more people distrust the government, this is an opportunity to bring them into our movement. We should be including them. We should be inviting them. That means validating their experiences. Yes, you're being oppressed. And the oppressor, that's the state. That's the enemy. We have a common enemy. The enemy is not the person asking, can you see me? Yes, black lives matter. Yes, all lives matter. The people who can't see that are the cops. Direct your indignation at them. Hey guys, thanks for watching yet another video by Ovens O'Brien. Again, that's Ovens O'Brien. So now you can pronounce it correctly. And if you get it wrong, I'm gonna give you a little bit of shit for it. Anyway, you can like, comment, share, subscribe, all those lovely things. If you dug this video, please share it around because, you know, I like being paid attention to. Anyway, thank you.